Hello all you start users, welcome to this level 2 video where I'm going to be showing you how you can set up results pages. So these are pages that tell your learner how they performed in a quiz and what to do from there. Before we jump into the tool I just want to help you visualise what it is that we're aiming for here and that is a series of quiz questions in a row followed by two options of where the learner goes either to a results page that congratulates them and telling them that they've passed or to a results page that's telling them that unfortunately they have failed and they need to retake. So what we want to do is create all of these pages and then set up rules that tell Elucidat whether to display the pass or the fail page. So let's dive into Elucidat and take a look at how to set that up. So what I've got here is I've already built my three um, questions and I've got a pass mark set for those already. And you can see I've also already created a pass page and a fail page. And the benefit of this approach is that you can have specific text on those pages. So my pass page can congratulate learners, tell them that they've passed and that they can now exit. Whereas my fail page has different messaging on it saying unfortunately they haven't scored enough and that they need to revise the content and take the quiz again. So there's a real benefit to having these two options as you can be very specific with your learner about what they should do next. But as you can see, these um, pages are following each other in the linear list. So we've got the three questions, then the pass page, then the fail page. So at the moment, somebody would answer question three and then move on automatically to the pass page, regardless of whether they actually had passed or failed. So what we need to do to make sure that doesn't happen and that they instead only see the relevant page is set up a rule. To do that, you go on, you start on the page that you want the rule to apply to and then go into page settings. So there's a rules tab here. And what this basically does is helps us to complete a statement um, that Elucidat reads and then decides whether or not to display the page. So it starts with only show this page if, and then from this first drop down, we can choose a variable. So for us, we, our variable is going to be result. So because we want this fail page that we're on at the moment to only display if a certain result is achieved. So only show this page if the result equals, and I'm going to choose fail here because I'm on the fail page. So that means this page will only appear if somebody's result is a fail. So I'm going to save that. And then what I need to do is apply the opposite rule to the pass page. So we're going to go back up to page settings, into rules, and this time say, only show this page if the result equals pass. So those two rules are the opposite of each other. And that now means that even though these pages look linear here, what will actually happen is that the learners will only see one or the other based on their result. The other thing that you might want to do on your pages is actually display the specific um, percentage um, score to the learner. And that's something that you can do using a piece of dynamic text so that it automatically alters for each learner. So you can actually add these snippets into text boxes as part of your sentence. So I might want to say here, for example, congratulations, you've passed the quiz with, and then I want to tell them their percentage. So to do that, I'm going to go up into this text editing bar here. I want to select clips. And within clips, you can see there are lots. These are all different pieces of kind of dynamic data that we're holding about the learner. And one of them is total score percentage. So if I add that in, what it's going to do is bring in this small um, piece of, um, kind of code in here. And what that will do each time a learner works through is it will look back to what their score is and then populate this um, piece of code with their score. So it's a great way of being able to create only one pass page, but have it personalize for each learner. I'm just going to do the same on my fail page quickly so you can see that process again. And 
I'm going to go up into clips and choose total score. There we go. So that's both of my pages set up with a rule that um, controls when they will apply and clips added to display the percentage. So let's check this out in preview. So first of all, I'm going to work through this quiz and I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to do full marks here. So what should happen here is after I answer this third question, I'm taken to the pass page and my score of 100% is shown to me. If I go back again and this time I fail the quiz, so I've got two wrong and one right there, which is not enough to meet my pass mark. And this time you can see I've skipped over the pass page and here I am on the fail page and I'm being told that I've only scored 33%. So that's how you set up uh, individual results pages and make sure learners only see the correct one. I'll just leave you with a few top tips. So the first is to remember to use rules to display different results screens based on how a learner performs. But that you don't have to leave it there. You can personalise the results pages further by using text clips that display their specific percentage. Finally, remember that one of the benefits of having separate pass and fail pages is that it allows you to provide clear actions um, for what learners should do next based on their results. So think about whether you want somebody who fails to retake, whether when someone passes, are they free to leave or is there anything else you need them to do? And really make the most of having those separate pages to make sure it's clear to the learners what they should do next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.